सो हेलो एंड वेलकम अगेन इन दी अभिमन्यु आई एस माई नेम इज़ प्रवेश वत्स एंड आई एम द फैकल्टी हेयर इन दी अभिमन्यु आई एस ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड गवर्नेंस टुडे आई एफ कम अगेन ऑन द यूट्यूब सीरीज कॉल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पॉलिटी वेयर एवरी वीक आई कम विद डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स हु हैव हायर रेलिवेंस टू अपियर इन दी एग्जाम्स whether it is prelims as well as mains for the upsc today i have come with a topic state versus government right what are these two terms often we use them interchangeably even the people who are studying politics even they do not understand what is the thin line of difference between these two terms so today we are going to deal with this and before we start our lecture on this topic i would like to share one information with all of you is that we are targeting in the abhimanyu is one year course for civil services exam which is in the next year 23 and in the next to next year 24 so this is one year course where i'll be taking the indian polity governance and the constitutional part which will be covering both the prelims as well as the mains and this course will be available in both the online as well as in the offline mode so those who wants to join this course they may get a link in the description box and uh, we are currently providing 7 days free trial in the abhimanyu is for this course which is of one year so now let's begin our today's topic so first of all we are dealing with state and then we'll be moving towards government state kya hota hai right state which is in hindi called rashtra right we call it state rashtra and other you know terminologies we use in hindi also so state is made of four components first is the defined territory like this is the territory we have this is the defined territory united and integrated iska matlab ye hai ki isko koi tod nahi sakta hai right dusri cheez set of people right everywhere we are having the population kahi par zyada hai kahi par kam hai third sovereignty which means that this state this whole state is having the independence to take its decisions at both the domestic as well as the international level without anyone's influence hum apni man marzi se kuch bhi decisions le sakte hain chahe wo domestic level par le चाहे वो इंटरनेशनल लेवल्स पर ले तो ऐसी जो पावर है उसको बोलते हैं सोवरैनिटी दैट इज कॉल्ड सोवरैनिटी द पावर ऑफ मेकिंग डिसीजंस विदाउट गेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंस फ्रॉम समवन और विदाउट गेटिंग इवन प्रेशर फ्रॉम समवन राइट एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज गवर्नमेंट राइट सो गवर्नमेंट एंड स्टेट दो दे आर डिफरेंट बट गवर्नमेंट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ दिस स्टेट जो गवर्नमेंट होती है वो यहीं पर कहीं ना कहीं काम कर रही होती है वट इट डू और वट इट डज वो हम अभी देखेंगे जब हम गवर्नमेंट को डील करेंगे सो इन ब्रीफ द स्टेट डील्स विद फोर कॉम्पोनेंट्स फर्स्ट इज द डिफाइंड टेरिटरी सेकेंड इज द सेट ऑफ पीपल और द पॉपुलेशन थर्ड इज द सोवरैनिटी एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज द गवर्नमेंट राइट विच इज द इम्पोर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द स्टेट बिकॉज इट एक्चुअली शोज यू how state looks right then second point says that state comprises various institutions of government right the government is not the term which we use only for the executive part jo sarkare hote hain jo hamare political leaders hote hain the ministers hote hain we do not call only them as the government because government is having or the state is having the government bureaucracy whose task is to implement the decisions military police courts social security systems so forth which means etc right so all these institutions are the components or the integral part of our state which is india right third says that it commands supreme power state comes with the power right government ki power hum limit kar sakte hain by using the constitution but we cannot define or we cannot limit the powers of state state is having complete power uske paas complete authority hoti hai 
राइट विच मीन्स इट स्टैंड अब ऑल अदर एसोसिएशन इसका मतलब ये कि इन आर सोसाइटी वी हैव फैमिली एज एन एसोसिएशन जो हमारी कुछ फुलफिल करता है डिमांड्स को देन वी हैव स्टे सोसाइटी जहाँ पर हमारी कुछ और ज़्यादा जो डिमांड्स हैं वो पूरी होती हैं और उसके ऊपर स्टेट आता है मतलब स्टेट इज अब ऑल दी एसोसिएशन बिकॉज स्टेट इज ओनली द इंस्टीट्यूशन विच इज़ कैपेबल ऑफ फुलफिलिंग ऑल द डिमांड्स ऑफ द सिटीजन्स और ऑल द डिमांड्स ऑफ द पीपल राइट एंड ग्रुप्स इन द सोसाइटी विच इज द मीनिंग सेम विच मीन्स दैट एवरी ग्रुप और एवरी एसोसिएशन इज बीनीथ द स्टेट इट्स लॉज डिमांड्स द कंप्लायंस ऑफ ऑल दोज हु लिव विद इन द टेरिटरी दिस मीन्स दैट ऑल द पीपल हु आर लिविंग अंडर द टेरिटरी ऑफ द स्टेट दे हैव टू अबाइड बाय द लॉज ऑफ द स्टेट इवन अ पर्सन कॉल्ड थॉमस हॉब्स रॉट अ बुक कॉल्ड लेवियांथन इन विच ही सेज दैट स्टेट कमांड्स अथॉरिटी एंड एंड द स्टेट विच इज नॉट यूजिंग पावर इज नथिंग बट अ नल स्टेट बिकॉज अगर स्टेट के पास पावर ही नहीं है सो इट कैन नॉट बाइंड ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स विच आर हेयर विच इज सोवरानिटी गवर्नमेंट पीपल एंड इट्स टेरिटरी राइट देन एवरी वन लिविंग विद इन अ स्टेट इज सब्जेक्ट टू इट्स अथॉरिटी विच इज यूजली एक्सप्रेस थ्रू द सिटीजनशिप नागरिकता राइट all the people who are living in the territories of the state they have to abide by the law and they have to express it through citizenship and the meaning of citizenship is not the right of living someone of living somewhere it means the membership of the state along with entailing rights and duties right so when we get the citizenship we get rights as well as duties ये दोनों चीजें हमें मिलती हैं जब हम जब हमें सिटीजनशिप मिलती है राइट देन स्टेट कैन नॉट बी सीन वी आर जस्ट सींग द टेरिटरी ऑफ द स्टेट बट क्या हम स्टेट देख सकते हैं क्या कहीं पे ऐसा है कि हमें इंडिया दिख जाए भारत दिख जाए हिंदुस्तान दिख जाए सो द आंसर इज नो राइट इट इज एन एब्सट्रैक्ट थिंग विच इज कैन नॉट बी सीन राइट बट स्टिल ऑर्गेनिक एंड परमानेंट विच मीन्स दैट स्टेट is something which is permanent it is not subjected to disintegration government toot sakti hai ban sakti hai state ko todna aur state ka banna bada mushkil hota hai aur that is why state is the above of all the associations and also a permanent institute institution right then it cannot be challenged or rebelled against iska matlab ye hai कि वी कैन चैलेंज द गवर्नमेंट जैसा कि हम लोग करते हैं इफ द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट फुलफिलिंग द डिमांड्स और द एस्पायरेशन ऑफ द पीपल सो वी हैव द राइट टू प्रोटेस्ट वी डिमोन्स्ट्रेट ऑल्सो बट यू कैन नॉट डू प्रोटेस्ट और डिमोन्स्ट्रेशन अगेंस्ट योर स्टेट बिकॉज उसको राष्ट्रद्रोह कहते हैं राइट सडीशन राइट यू कैन नॉट गो अगेंस्ट योर स्टेट स्टेट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द अल्टीमेट अथॉरिटी right and any individual or group of individuals cannot deprive state from its authority state can deprive them th from their responsibilities and their rights but the individuals or the group of individuals cannot do that right so this was something related to the state state kya hota hai kaise hota hai kaise chalta hai kya components hote hain wo hum sab ne abhi dekh liya hai so now we are dealing about government गवर्नमेंट क्या होती है राइट सो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज द टाइटल विच वी यूज फॉर आर यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ स्टेट फॉर डिफरेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट राइट सो गवर्नमेंट इज सेट ऑफ इस्टेब्लिश एंड परमानेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन राइट जिनका फंक्शन होता है टू मेंटेन पब्लिक ऑर्डर एंड अंडरटेक कलेक्टिव एक्शन दिस सिंपली मीन्स दैट गवर्नमेंट इज हैविंग some of the important institutions like right we have legislature we have the executive we have the judiciary so these are the prominent institutions like three tier government so that is part of cooperative society right so ye sare jo hai features hote hain institutions hote hain government ke right jinka kaam hota hai to maintain public order public morality constitutionalism rule of law 
and they also take collective actions collective actions for the collective wisdom which means for the larger interest of the public second government is a component of state which deals with legislation execution adjudication which i have earlier told you that government is a component of state and legislature is a law making power execution is the implementation and adjudication is a judicial matter here the judiciary comes to decide the feasibility or legality of any act or any bill right government can be democratic authoritarian constitutional dictatorial centralized or fragmented so these are the variations of government in some countries we have dictatorships in some countries we have monarchy in some countries we have republic form of government in some countries we have democratic form of government so these are nothing except the variations ye vibhinnataye hain these are the diversities of the government alag alag tarike ki governments ho jati hain right which are i have written here then now comes what is the role of the government why it is necessary and considered as an component or an integral component of the state it is only because that it provides governance in the public interest right establishes fairness which is also called justice prevent injustice and inequality and help in maintaining trust in state so this is the only government which can perform all these major task it not only establishes law and order in the, in the society it not only establishes peace fairness justice in the society but it also prevents the feeling of injustice the feeling of inequality which is a major cause of revolution against the state right agar injustice or inequality kisi ke sath hoti hai so after some time they get distrusted from the state or wo antagonism ke roop mein demonstrations hote hain protest hote hain so wo hurt karte hain aapke state ko right and the government also is maintaining trust in the state government by doing the social justice when it provides you the essential components to live a happier life to live a healthy life to live a, to live a inclusive life so these are the significant features that how the government is maintaining trust in the state right and this that government can be challenged and rebelled against right we can go on the streets and we can challenge the government because of their arbitrary decisions because of their arbitrary legislation agar aisa koi kanoon bana dete hain aisa koi niyam bana dete hain jo hamare public interest ko mass society ke public interest ko hurt karta hai so we can challenge the government right because why we cannot challenge the state because state is not making the laws making laws implementing laws adjudicating laws is the responsibility of the government so that is why we can challenge the government and we cannot challenge the state so this much this, so this much was in this concept state kya hota hai government kya hota hai right so it was very important to understand before we give our exam whether it is civil services or whether it is state civil services because unless and until you do not find or you do not know the meaning of these two terms it is very difficult for you to understand the constitution and their provisions so for today this much Thank you so much we'll meet again on a next day on a next topic thank you